Danish daughter who refuses to believe Child's death is God's punishment. Lauren Drain's life was turned upside down when her father told her she was joining the Westboro Baptist Church. As she stood outside a church, alongside people holding signs saying we're going to hell, Lauren Drain tried desperately to remain out of sight. She shuffled to the end of the line of members of the Westboro Baptist Church, overcome by her horror. Lauren had been sent alongside friends, family and other church members to pick up the child's funeral. She didn't know the child, but she knew she would have to hold a sign for grieving relatives to see. It was the moment Lauren had been dreading all day. For the first time since she joined the church as a young child, she was horrified by the part she was playing. Lauren said, We had always protested odd events, but when the church sent me to pick up an innocent child's funeral, I felt ashamed and disgusted. I tried to be as far down the picket line as possible so my sign wasn't as visible and I was hoping the media would approach me that day. Westboro Baptist Church has one overriding belief if you're not part of their community then God hates you. And the death of a child is God's way of punishing you for not following the path of righteousness, something the church is determined to shout loudly to all who would listen. It's the kind of life that many of us think is pretty normal but for Lauren normality, is something she will never take for granted. Because Lauren, now 31, was once a member of the infamous Westboro Baptist Church in Kansas. The religious group has hit headlines across the world for their extreme values and their friendship for picketing the funerals of us veterans and even children. They're often spotted holding signs with slogans like God hates that and thank God for dead soldiers. Lauren escaped the hate-filled cult when she was 21, leaving behind her family, including her sister Taylor, 26, brother Boaz, 15, and youngest sister Faith, 13, who had all remained devoted members. Lauren told Mirror Online, My father had already pulled me out of public high school and started to homeschool me, so I had lost contact with most of my friends. I was no longer allowed to communicate with my former friends and the isolation slash seclusion started happening right away. When he told me we were joining the church, I had a mixture of emotions, nervous and curious but without any options really. I trusted that my father wanted what was best for our family but I was definitely hesitant and I had no idea how much my life would change. Before the family could become part of the church, Lauren remembers having to demonstrate good behavior, in front of all the members. But then I'd have to come home and pick up a protest somewhere with eight full signs and messages. After that, I'd either look after the younger members of the church or go to work before finishing the day with Bible study or family movie night. There was little to no free time for any other activities. We were expected to be exemplary members of society, at school, at work and anywhere we went standing in the picket line at the young child's funeral, Lauren desperately wanted to escape but was terrified of the consequences. She said, I knew I was starting to question the beliefs I had been taught, but I didn't talk to anyone else about leaving. I was too fearful I would lose my family to ever try and leave the church. But in a cruel twist of fate, Lauren found herself banished from the religious community for an offense she had barely realized she had committed.